What's up guys, Doofus McDoofus here with the unit breakdown series for Polywog, Seraphim, and Devilfish. So let's get into it. Uh, this is another one of the T1s. I just referenced it with Mask, but this is another T1 that although it only has one upgrade, it has two different upgrades that you can do interchangeably the entire game. So it's a really cool unit. I mean... Unless I'm silly, like, this is the only unit outside of, like, what, a hardened Mudman, uh, that you can just change, change it mid-game. Um, Polywog is, of course, Magic and Swift. Um, it's, it's an okay unit. Like, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and start off the video saying Polywog is amazing, right? It is, it is your average T1. Um, there are some cool things you can do with it. Uh, right off the bat, I've been talking about Fiesta always, so right off the bat, it's it's pretty okay for Fiesta, right? You usually go Seraphim on the wall, two Polywogs, push a couple of workers. Um, I've actually never been able to perfect the three, the three poly uh, thing, the three poly split. Because whenever you get sent on, if you don't get a sent on one, you don't leak to three polys. I've tried to perfect it. I haven't done it yet. Um, but yeah, usually you just do the Seraphim. You do a couple of polys. You push to six workers. You put a couple more polys back there. Like two is probably what you're going to get. Yeah, this this holds with like 60 health. Um, yeah, this always holds. <laughs> Very close, right? All right, that leaked, but there's definitely some RNG to that one. Definitely some RNG to that one, and you'd have to ask yourself, is it worth the risk, right? Is it worth the risk? But, yeah, so it's a decent Fiesta start. Um, Fiesta and just playing it in general. Um, if, you, <clears throat> if you do have them in the split, which is what I would usually do, you know? Like, I've even done, like, Poda. Poda Devilfish can work. Um, but the the biggest downside and the biggest upside of sending Devilfish, Devilfish, Seraphim, all of that, and then we'll get into the details. DTs. All right. DTs just absolutely destroy the unit. <laughs> right? They're li these are literally amazing units on wave 3, right? They have the magic. Their swift tankage is fine. However... A DT just destroys them. Because they, they can't kill any of the units. Right? They're sitting there focusing on the DT. Right? This one killed its entire half of the wave. Right? And I... Oh, okay. I got lucky. And I killed the DT. But the entire wave is just there. The entire wave is just there. Right? Whereas if that was just a couple of snails, right? If that was just a couple of snails, this would be an amazing fiesta, right? Oh, I don't. I made him. I made a whoopsie. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, right. As I said, if that was a couple of snails, also on wave three, right? Still struggling a little bit to kill the snails, right? But actually gets to kill a couple, right? Look at this. Look at this pro fiesta. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is going to be one for the books. Oh, it helped. <laughs> but do you see? I sent the exact same amount of mythium, right? I sent the exact same amount of mythium. So, if you are sending these, and you send two snails over a DT, right, it, it can be worth to, to not send that first snail for income and go DT after income on wave three, right? That's, that's, that's a big part. That's a big part of sending is you, you got to know what to send, right? So, DTs into polys, seraphims, devilfish, it's just amazing. And yes, I could have theoretically gone for a devilfish, 
right? I could have gone for a devil fish on three, allowing this this seraphim a little bit more time, right? Uh, what do I mean by that? Well, remember I said there's seraphim. This is a ranged, ranged attacking unit, right? 350 range, 54 DPS. Or you can change it into the tank, which has almost double the health, right? Almost double the health and loses about, is that like 30% of the DPS? What is it, 0.3, 16, 16 minus 54. Yeah, close enough, right? Over 33% of its damage, right? So you get a tank instead of a DPS, -er, right? And probably the most important thing about this is wave five, right? Devilfish and, and Seraphim wave five. You really, really want to change it to a change it to a, a Seraphim on wave five. Like unless it is your only tank, right? Like if you had a, a Pota, right? If you have a Pota and you need a tank, then it's totally fine to leave it a devilfish. But if you need that magic damage, right? Let's just say you had an angler here. Um 385. Wave 5, we're right on value. You get brooded though, you know. Um, so let's see what happens. Let's see what happens if we've got two Seraphims. Yes, our bounty hunter is going to get evaporated. And the boss is going right. Right? Don't pay attention to the split. <laughs> All right, if the split wasn't important, 64%, right? 64%. Right. But now, right, if we did the exact same thing, if we did the exact same thing with Devilfish, I doubt that boss is going to die, right? That boss is not going to die. And the leak is going to be substantial. Right? Because you need that magic damage. Right? And you already had a fortified tank. So a 64 goes to 89. Right? 89. And the same thing goes for wave 6. Right? Now wave 6, you should change it. Right? <laughs> wave 6, you should change it. Unless you have a really powerful damage. So with this exact build right here, right? Bounty Hunter is like awful on wave six. So you don't need a tank for the Bounty Hunter, right? You need some DPS. Now you do want to keep the one on the right because it's not going to kill anything. Wave six, if even split here, the Seraphim will be our DPS, right? The Seraphim's probably going to do more DPS than both of those things combined. Look at this Seraphim just go. Sadly, we're going to get RNG'd. Going to leave both of these on like 1 HP. Right? But look at the Seraphim. Literally did more damage than both of those combined. Right? 67%. Um, with both of them super close to death. Right? Super close. Whereas if we had both of them. Both of them as Devilfish. As the tanks. Right? You're definitely going to kill one. But now now our top damage is our bounty hunter. Who is pierce fortified. Alright. Well. See now now we're learning. <laughs> it, was, it was a little bit better. Right? It was a little bit better. Um. I guess the bounty hunter being your more expensive unit, right? It was worth it. And if you get brooded, the brutes into the devilfish, right? So I guess you actually want the devilfish on wave six. Yeah, I was I was testing you guys mid video, mid video test. If you thought those should have been devilfish, you passed, <laughs> right? Um, but to the basics, uh, let's go back to wave one. So now you guys have a little bit better understanding. Also, wave nine, right? Wave nine is, is going to be magic. You can do wave nine. 
uh, as as seraphims, if you're able to, right? Like wave nine, they're they're going to be magic. Their swift tankage is is garbage on nine. Um, so of course, if you can do the the better the better of the two, right? Do you want good good damage or bad tankage, or do you want bad damage, good tankage, right? You you have to you have to sort of choose which wave is better um, based on the the damage types and the armored types of of the creeps. Um, but just the basics. From my point of view, uh, really good on two, right? Really good on two, really good on three, with the exception of DTs. Good tank on four, does no damage on wave four, right? No damage wave four. Um, I, I'll use them a lot for Fiesta, and wave four you can leak really bad if you don't have any type of damage. If you have just a couple of Seraphims, a couple of uh, Devilfish on four, ugh, right? Yes, they're the correct tankage. Pretty good on five if you're able to use the seraphim. Not good if it they're not good if they're the uh the devil fish in my opinion. Um wave six, they're good tankage. Eh, DPS, right? As you could see, the devil fish was much better than the seraphim on six. Garbage on seven. Garbage on eight, right? Easy mimic target. Right? If you have a couple of these and polys in the split, right? I'm somebody to do that. Somebody's going to want to send you a Mimic on 7, right? Um, 9, the magic damage is good. 10, the swift tankage is good, right? And then once again, they sort of fall off. Um, if you can do the the, seraph, the the Seraphims on wave 11, could be useful, right? If you, if you have no other types of magic damage, right? If this is all you have and this is what you have to use for 11, then so be it, you know? If you have to spam a couple of Seraphims... You just have like one kingpin, right? You have one baby kingpin and a girl. Let's see. All right. We're severely under. Severely under here. We also might have killed. We killed one of our seraphim. <laughs> this is a kingpin with no stacks. But, for example, the Seraphims did more damage than that Kingpin. And the Kingpin cost a hell of a lot more. Um, but yeah. And then as the game goes on, like, of course you would want to avoid them. But if you can't avoid them, they're the correct tank on wave 13. They're the correct magic damage on wave 15. Uh, they're the correct tankage for Devilfish on 16. Um, and then they're also the correct tankage on 18 and damage, but with the, with the AOE thing of the 18, they'll all just die instantly. Um, so you can do like polywog splits too, right? These are kind of like masks where you can do like a crazy polywog split. It'd be cool. Waves. I mean, I'm, a, I'm about to get it destroyed here. Jeez. But just just for visual purposes, just for visual purposes, these things are going to be taking a while. You know, see, it's like, oh, they have to kill all those little polys, and then those. Now they're attacking. Now they're attacking. Of course, massive leak. I'm severely under 67. Yep. But uh, yeah, this has just been a sandbox with with me. Uh, did I miss anything? Of course, you could supplement their their weaknesses with pierce damage, right? All those waves that I said that they're really weak. You know, it's not weak. It's pierce damage, right? Like the wave seven, the wave eight. Um. This can work with, like, a, an elite archer, right? This could be an okay start with elite archer. Choose to go devilfish because you have better damage. Elite archer is... Divine. Right? So let's just say your six workers on three. 
All right, your six workers on three. And now it's like, do they send you snails? Because you have an elite archer. Yes, they do. Because that's all you had. All right? But if they send you snails, then you're fine. All right? Because then this this devilfish or seraphim, um, I would probably go devilfish, right? Let's say it's three snails on wave three. Um, you should be okay because then, right? The snails are good into the archer, but they're not great into the seraphim or devilfish, whichever you choose to do. All right, archer gets the tank, devilfish tanks for a while. It's gonna be pretty close here. Little bit of RNG. Um, I will be honest. I th I think I, I lied. This should have been a Seraphim. Right? Because if you have a Seraphim, then the the Archer would have tanked longer. It's set to it. Three. Another example. So we had 46%. Now, if it's Seraphim, you're going to have an equal split because it's ranged. As opposed to the Devilfish is melee. Alright, we only actually pulled one more. But better damage. Was I right or was I wrong? Alright, about the same. About the same. Right? About the same. Um, but that can be a really good start. Uh, if they get two snails, you're holding. If it's a DT, you're probably holding. You know, And that's if you're six workers, right? That's if you're six workers and you're pushing really hard. Um, but I think that's pretty much it. You know, I like to just throw them in the split, um, send DTs into them, and yeah, decent fiesta. I guess I can check my game stats really quick. I doubt they're very high, right? It's an average fiesta at best. Just kidding, it's undefeated. Devilfish is undefeated for me. Um... Uh... Polywog itself is 16 and 21. Seraphim is 12 and 19. See, an average at best fiesta. Cause something but 53.7%. So when I open it with fiesta, it's terrible, right? If you start it, it's terrible because you can have horrible fiestas, right? Like if you get snailed or if you get DT'd, your fiesta is just double, triple, right? But if they don't send you, then you can have a good fiesta, right? But just as as the unit in the split, pretty pretty much a a swift tank for my pota, right? Uh, can be really nice, right? Based on my stats, I don't think I have any games with them recently, um, unless I'm a liar. I am a little bit. Of li oh, I've got two polywogs here. Yeah, these these two polywogs really changed the game. All right, these two polys really changed the game here. <laughs> they, they actually did. They actually did. The, the polywogs screwed up my split on 12. These polywogs screwed up my split on wave 12. Yes. Yeah, okay. So I did have some devil fish and some polys. All right. They screwed up my split, but we did win. Right. I had to sue you at the end. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And um, yeah. Just properly turn it to a seraphim or turn it to a devil fish even i don't seem to know the right wave right but i would say if you're just going strictly off of the basics you want seraphim wave one right you want devil fish wave two seraphim wave three devil fish wave four seraphim wave five devil fish wave six uh I'd probably say Devilfish Wave 7, which is a swift tank. I've seen people do Seraphim on Wave 8, and it can be okay-ish. Um, Seraphim Wave 9, Devilfish Wave 10, Seraphim Wave 11. Probably Seraphim Wave 12, because Magic is not terrible Wave 12. Devilfish Wave 13. Probably stick with Devilfish 14. Seraphim 15, Devilfish 16. Devilfish 17, Devilfish 18, and 
19, they're they're gonna get one shot at. So I mean, I guess I guess is a seraphim. But I love you guys, and I hope this was useful. And I'll see you next time. Later.